Professor Dr. Mike Chan is a scientist, researcher, author, educator, technical consultant, and entrepreneur uh, in the specialized fields of biotechnology, research and development of stem cells, peptide therapeutics, regenerative medicine, as well for multiple corporations globally. And he is also the owner and founder of European Wellness Biomedical Group has over 40 books, 90 publications in stem cell research and immunology. So Dr. Mike, great to have you. Um, welcome. And there's so much to talk about. Let's let's start with your, your project in Europe, the European Wellness Group. Explain what your mission is there. Now, I'm 63, moving to 63, and I've been in the business for almost 40 years. You know, I started everything in Switzerland and Germany, and I've been involved with the Soviets in the old days, in the early 80s, in stem cell research, and the same with Germans and the Swiss trade. I so many masters, I would say, and, and, and I've been learning so much and travel across 80 regions. So I come to realize there's a lot of things we can kind of do a regeneration of the organ. And I tag the word bio-regenerative. That means all the organs in our body, so the 78 organs in our body, with 700 over different types of cells over the organs, they all can be repaired and regenerated as long as they're living tissues inside the organ. So even dying cells can be regenerated. You save the cells, they become alive, and you can regenerate as long as you have some living tissues. So I love what I'm doing very much, and that makes me expand from education to formulations to centers and hospitals, and uh, I've been very much involved in training all over the world. I just love what I'm doing. I obviously think that there's a lot of things we can turn hopes into reality. Uh, and, and just make people's lives better and the quality of life better. It sounds like that's really, you know, what you Yes, I always say it's no point to have longevity in life if you cannot increase the quality of life. So you must have quality of life, and that's what I call it the health span. So health span depends on the cell span, too. The quality of your cells. When you age, your cells are also aging. All the organs are aging, and, and that's the reason why you must regenerate the cells, because the cells are aging too, and you have the stem cells and cells in your body. Mm -hmm. So the stem cells are just like the queen bees, and they have the bees, which are the cells. You're born with 37.2 trillions of cells, and there'll be one stem cell over 10,000 life cells. But we all age at such a tremendous speed that by the age of 18, you only have 45% left of your stem cells. So it's important to regenerate the dying cells and also to do some replacement of the specific cells. And I mentioned you have 737 different types of stem cells and cells, and not just one or two types of cells. So there's a lot of misconfusions with the, the word stem cells too. You know, everyone thought the stem cells can regenerate to all kinds of cells and treat all kinds of disorder. It is not totally true. You must use the specific target organ specific cells. Example, to treat the liver, you should have hepatocyte. To treat the heart, you need the cardiomyoblast. To treat the brain, the brain itself has 52 lobes and 67 different types of stem cells. So again, we're packing the substantial nigra. So there's a lot of things you have to understand here. Yeah. So yeah. what has your research taught you about neurodegenerative diseases, neurodevelopment? What, is there kind of like a takeaway that you've learned from this? Now, I learned so much about the brain because the brain is my favorite subject. We have been treating thousands of neurodevelopmental disorders. That is a problem with the brain, apart from other gut problems or some heavy metals, but the main problem is with the brain. So you must give the specific brain cells to treat the specific problems of the brain. Everyone has a different problem in the case of all day because they're different spectrum in the case of autistic children. Again, in the case of Down syndrome, you know, which is very common in the Middle East because every family will have one Down syndrome or autistic children or more because the, uh, of a genetic problem and also of the close marriage, you know, in the community or in the Muslim world, you can't do abortion or certain faith too. So there is a lot of such children. And 10 years ago, there were 600 autistic children to one and today is Less than 40 baby born, there'll be one autistic children even coming from US. So what about degenerations of the brain? And this is what we call neurodegenerations of the brain. Again, this is a big problem. Dementia is the next big problem 
in the US and many parts of the world because the timeline of, for the brain is 60 to 70. After reaching 60 and 70, we all reach at a very different uh, rate. So if someone say, oh, I'm going, I'm turning one year older from 65 to 66, it may not be true. You are probably turning out two years older or three years or four years or five years because it depends on, we are looking at the biological age and never on the chronological age. Again, when we look at the protein of your cells, when you're older, you have an older protein. I wanted to ask you about the 40 um, anti-aging centers worldwide. What happens there? What's your vision with helping people at those anti-aging centers? Now, everyone is said to be younger, okay? I want to be living longer. I want to be fitter and healthier. But again, I also say you need to be sharper because you are as young as your brain, you know? So if your brain timeline is 60 to 70, how are you going to be sharper when you're 90 or 100 years old? Is there a way to make you sharper still? Yes. Because if we regenerate the different parts of your brain, there are 52 loops in your brain, you can be younger in a way. You are as young as your brain or as old as your brain. And of course, the other 77 organs apart from the brain. So with the centers, we specialize in reverging aging, reversing aging, and we are talking about youth restoration, which is so important. You know, I'm 62 to 63. I would like to be 46 instead of 62. You age, you lose balances, you have a poor quality of life. This is what is happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so is it important in the centers? We do a youth restoration. We use, you look at the pathological test or the lab work of your body. Your blood don't lie. It tells all the condition of your organs. We go to certain tests to check further of what you what what is in your body and how well is your organs. And then we do a regeneration of specific organs. Every organs we need to regenerate. And this therapy will need this program may need four days, three nights. You know, within three days we can do so many things. We go on the basis of diagnose, detox repair and regenerate. The regeneration will be with the stem cells or with the peptides or with some other form of therapy, you know? So you must do a detoxification because there are also a lot of toxin in your body, you know, in your organs. So okay. after the detox, we do the repair and then we re regenerate with the cells. And this is what we have been doing. The Swiss has been doing that with the Germans for the last 200 years. There's so many centers which are famous for all this, where the rich and the famous will go there to become younger, yeah. you know, yeah. Do you think your research will redefine how healthcare is administered and um, could possibly change the future of healthcare? I believe so because it is high time not to just to educate physicians. I've been involved in training of physicians, 80,000 of them across the world. I've done more than 1,000 conference and seminar and scientific conference all over the world. And I come to realize it's not just the physician we have to educate or create the awareness. It's high time the patient themselves had to know more about their health. And today in the digital world, there's a lot of things which are accessible. So I always tell the patient now that the best doctor for themselves is actually themselves. It was never their doctor because their doctors do not have all the days, all the 24 hours a day for them. So it's high time for them to know their body and to take care of the body to a certain extent and to live a quality life to extend the longevity in them. So education and awareness is important, and that is the way we have to move, and we have to create the awareness to the patients now so that they will make the job easy for the doctors yeah. to take care of them to the next level. And the use of technology sounds like it's an important piece of this as well. Digital. Yes, I think technology is very important, but the problem is, you know, science is and uh, medicine is going at a very fast pace. I always say that you have to keep a head and keep going with the technology, just like a side health, uh, 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 just like an iPhone. You know, iPhone is changing all the time, and you have to change to a new model of a phone all the time. Why are you changing the phone? Because you want better features. So, uh, Doctor Mike, when you think of health and wellness, what's your just grand vision for humanity? 
Now, I have a lot for the children, you know. I, 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 you know, I myself could be an autistic child in the 60s, you know, because I only... I have a lot of difficulty in school. I only start to speak at seven, you know, and my nickname is Dumbo. So I like to do something for all the children of the world. And today I come to realize after treating thousands and thousands of children or autistic children and uh, children of, uh, I call them children of a lesser God. I hope I can do more here, you know, and, and if stem cells can be offered of the different parts of the brain to all these children, I can see that they will see a lot of improvements. And the same go for neurodegenerative diseases. You know, for the age, you know, I was also a special feeling for my age. I came from a single mother, so my mom brought me up, and she's 93, and my mother-in-law is 95. So they are still in top, tip-top condition. They have never been to a hospital, you know. And that means to say, you can extend quality life. So I always say lifespan depends on health span and health span depends on the cell span. If we can do something with the cells and we give the right type of cells, we can regenerate the different organs. Example, if I were to treat a kidney patient from stage five and stage to stage three, which I've been doing quite some time for a number of patients, that is already given a tremendous like treating the untreatables. And in the medical world, a lot of people will say the heart or the kidney can, cannot be regenerated, but we have a lot, uh, we have done a lot here, you know. We are turning the impossible to the possible. So it's not just for the children, it's also for the adults and for all the untreatable diseases where all the conventional method has been exhausted. They are solution as long as they are leaving tissues. Yeah. So I would like to do more for mankind I believe in what I'm doing very much. I just love what I'm doing because every day we are receiving a lot of good news coming from different parts of the world, and that includes USA. Yeah. That includes USA. We have a lot of American patients. Well, that sounds yeah. like an amazing goal, and it sounds like you are on your way. So, um, And I know those diseases, Alzheimer's and aging, are just are going to be already are big problems and going to be even more so. So, well, thank you, Dr. Chan. Great to meet you. Best of luck. And I hope to see you in New York sometime soon. Yes. Thank you so much, Jane.